And I said to myself, I view being fat as I view being anorexic. I was anorexic um, uh, when I was uh, 18 years old and I was anorexic for four years, mm -hmm. severely anorexic. Um, you should not be promoting either. No. Both of these are unhealthy, but unhealthy. you would never see a society that says, be anorexic, anorexic acceptance, right? You say you need to get help when you see a girl with ribbon bone, she needs to get help. You know, they go after them in the press, she needs to get help, she's anorexic, she's not eating. But what, uh, the opposite token, it's mm -hmm. all about make them feel better. Shame is a good ingredient. Yeah, I, I think it's true. I think it's also linked to, so in the UK, obviously we have socialized healthcare, the NHS. Mm. So in America, I suppose in some ways, if you have medical issues, those are uh, internalized. So the person is paying for them themselves. You have private healthcare often, people pay for their own healthcare issues. So in some ways I'd say in America, well, it's choice because you're gonna pay to fix it. Mm. In the UK as a taxpayer, I'm gonna pay for your choices is why I'm anti socialized healthcare because I have to pay for choices other people make in their life and that's not actually something I want to do. Right. You're going to need new knees or a new hip because you've decided to eat your own fridge um, or 85 times the amount of food that you probably should have. I don't want to pay for your new hip. You, right. you go buy yourself a new hip. Uh, and that sounds hard, but actually it's just basic economic it's, it's principles. 100%. Um, I also think there's a, you know, at the moment with everybody going around like crazies with these masks on, you see people who are clearly clinically obese with a mask on. And it reminds me of people that go into like a Starbucks or whatever and order um, a hot chocolate with skim milk. And then the cashier says, would you like um, cream? And they go, oh, yes, please. <laughs> That's what masks are on fat people. Right. They're the, the cream that you squirt on top when you've had skim milk. They right. think that one thing's going to save them and one thing isn't. Is gonna, yeah, I, I totally that agree with you. That mask is not going to save you from corona if you get it because you're massive. Right. That's 100 percent. And it's a real conversation. But no one's going to have that conversation. And I have I have it the whole time, which is why I'm always in trouble like you are. Um, <laughs> you're, just, you're just a few steps ahead of me on the yes, censorship. A few, a few steps ahead of me. Yeah. But we're in the same category where it's just yes. having meaningful, honest discussions. And like I say, my favorite thing in the whole world, by the way, you know, to wrap up the fat discussion is when I'm at the gym and I see a fat person on a treadmill. I'm like, go you. You know what I mean? Like you're, I love you're it. working out. I love it because you're, you're trying to do something to change your life positively. But when I see a fat person modeling on Instagram and saying fat acceptance, that makes me angry. I agree. But I would also say, you know, we're all assholes. And um, if I'm running and I'm running, I will deliberately try and run past someone <laughs> and I'll hold my breath and try not to look sweaty <laughs> just so that I look tougher than them. Right. So let's not forget also there's an undercurrent of being an asshole. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and I, I also deliver on that really right. rather well. I would say I do too. Yeah, it's important.